One of the most common questions I get from clients is what should I wear to my headshot session? And this is a great question because a person's clothing choices can make or break the success of their headshots. So in this quick video, I want to give you five simple headshot clothing tips that help my clients look and feel great. Tip number one, bring your whole closet. My best piece of advice for my clients is that I tell them to bring their entire closet with them to their session. And I'm only half joking when I say this because having a large variety to choose from helps to ensure that we can create images which flatter them and become an asset to their brand. If a client shows up with just what they're wearing, however, or with say only one extra option, that severely limits the variety we can get during the session. Not only that, but people will often like how they look in a shirt or a blouse in real life, but this does not necessarily mean that it's the best choice for a photograph. In fact, I've had many instances where clients choose images wearing their second or third choices, and the item they thought was going to be their favorite winds up being their least favorite. Another advantage to having a bunch of options is that I can then help my clients choose the best clothing combinations. As the photographer, I am thinking about how certain clothing looks with a particular background and with a certain kind of lighting configuration, as well as the overall color palette created by the person's unique skin tones and their eyes. All of this makes a huge difference in the final results. Tip number two, wear form-fitted clothing. I am sure that I'm not alone when I say I hate wearing form-fitted clothing on a daily basis, and I don't. But form-fitted clothing is the best choice for headshots for a number of reasons. First, even though the clothes might feel tight or slightly uncomfortable during the shoot, the results look much better than loose or baggy clothing since it gives you a slimming effect. A second consideration is when wearing a jacket. Large, bulky shoulder pads and baggy suit jackets do not flatter men or women and it just tends to make a person look wider than they really are. A form-fitted jacket, however, adds style and shape to a person's figure without making them look square or boxy. Finally, since a headshot is a head and shoulders photo, I tell my clients, don't worry if a shirt or a blouse feels a little tight around your stomach because this part does not make it into the photo. Tip number three, neutrals work wonders, but bring a few wild cards too. So the best general practice for headshots is to wear solids, semi-solids, simple cuts, neutrals, and pastel colors. This is because I don't want the clothing, and no one does, to distract from the most important part of the headshot, which is the person's face. Dark blues and grays are always a good choice for corporate headshots, as well as a variety of simple patterns and colors. One consideration that many people don't think about is that bright colors, like red or yellow for instance, will reflect back into the face and create a sort of cast on the skin tone. This means that if a person wears a bright red shirt, it will make their face look slightly more red. This is why pastel colors are actually a great choice, but I always tell my clients to bring some wild card options as well, which means you shouldn't be afraid of bold patterns and prints as well as colors which you enjoy to wear in real life, as these are a great option for us to work with too. And this goes back to my whole bring the whole closet philosophy because we can't try something if it's left at home. For acting clients, considerations are similar, although every actor should bring a variety of v-neck or crew neck shirts or sweaters, especially grays, whites, and blacks, in addition to various pastels and other col colors and other options. This is because actors need images that are extremely simple in composition and wearing a solid v-neck sweater, for example, removes every distraction for a casting director who wants to focus on the individual's unique facial expression. Tip number four, casual is the new formal. One of the biggest changes that's happened because of the pandemic is that people are dressing much more casually at work than ever before. Even before two solid years of working at home in our fuzzy slippers, the dress code for many professionals had already started to tend towards the casual side. In my studio, it's rare to take a headshot at this point that includes a necktie, for example. 
In fact, most of my male lawyer, executive, or realtor clients choose to ditch the tie and go for a shirt and jacket combo, while most of my female corporate clients choose a smart blouse over a more formal business suit. I've even had business professionals choose photos wearing a simple t-shirt or sweater over anything more formal. And I've worked with executives from Amazon and Microsoft, for example, who choose not to wear a tie and some of them even ditch the jacket as well. So I think it's safe to say that gone are the days of cufflinks and business suits from most industries. Number five, dress for the career you want. When a client is figuring out what to wear, one of the most important considerations is the career that they are in or they want to go into. What a person wears sends very strong psychological messages to the viewer, so it's extremely important to think about the impression that a particular outfit conveys in branding images. The most common theme that most people want is a headshot that conveys them as professional, confident, and approachable. And another way to say all of this is that people just want to look real in their headshot. And I believe that this is why much of the stuffy formal clothing has been ditched in favor of more casual looking items. Having said this, remember that a particular industry will have particular standards for what is and is not acceptable for a headshot. For example, I wouldn't advise a realtor client to show up in a hoodie or for a doctor client to be photographed in their gym outfit. I mean, these are extreme and obvious examples, of course, but the point is that each person should think about the industry that they currently work in or the industry they want to work in as they plan for their headshot clothing. Now, when I'm on the phone with a potential client, my final piece of advice for them is to spend as much time carefully choosing their photographer as they do choosing their clothing. And Unfortunately, many photographers don't put much thought into things like their client's hair, clothing, makeup, poses, and facial expressions. In my studio, however, the entire process from beginning to end is collaborative, and my goal is to help my clients look amazing and leave with photos that they absolutely love. Photos that make them feel empowered and that work as an asset to their brand and also boost their self-confidence. By doing this, you're guaranteed to have awesome headshots. Well, I hope you enjoyed this quick video. Don't forget to hit that like button. You don't have to smash it, just a gentle press will do. Subscribe to the channel, hit the notification bell if you wanna know when my next video will drop. Here's wishing you an awesome day. Go out and take some great pictures and I will see you next time. Peace. <music>